musicians from the Westchester area. They call themselves the Giant Panda Gypsy Blues Band. Although they've only been on the music scene for a few years as a group, they are very quickly building one of the largest and most loyal followings of any band in the region. Five members of the group are experienced songwriters, allowing the pandas to play their own brand of original music, which was uh, once described as, get this, politically correct neo-hippie reggae folk acoustic panda poop. But don't let that scare you away. These pandas know how to play, and no one who's ever heard them live has ever been disappointed. Before we get into the show, I'd like to take care of a weather-related schedule change. Last week's ice storm caused a number of cancellations, including the prism taping of Martin's Dam at Rafters. Those of you who are trying to get out to the show will be happy to know that this taping has been rescheduled at a special time, Monday night, January 24th, 8 o'clock. Of course, I'll be there to host the evening's activities. Prism will be on hand to tape the performance for an edition of Live from Rafters that will air on the Friday after the show, Friday, January 28th. Now, that also happens to be the next Rafters show on our schedule and the next time I'll see you. For now, I'm Mel Toxic of 103.9 WDRE, Philly's Modern Rock. I'll see you in two weeks. Right now, it's time for the Giant Panda Gypsy Blues Band to take center stage on live.
Kessler and Brad Dudley, Ned Oliva and myself thought that it would be kind of fun to have a little quartet that could go out and play kind of folky oriented music. And we sort of oriented ourselves with that almost immediately as soon as we started playing together. But it really wasn't until with each additional member that we felt like we hit some kind of, of new and interesting sound that it, it had an appeal or at least we thought. And then, of course, as each additional person came in, it changed the sound, magnified it, added some new influences and new feels. And by the time CR joined us, he joined us the last, that was in July of 92, uh, we really felt that we had something that we were all really comfortable with. It was a, a real hybrid of a lot of different styles. And at that point, we felt you know, ready to pursue this as a career. Thank you. 
join into illusions Verify that all my dreams can be Best seek the answers to my questions Wake along when there's no one there to me Love seems like something unfamiliar Love acts like a stranger I don't know Love comes just as quickly as on Love smiles, then I watch you go Watch it go, watch it go, watch it go Watch it go, watch it go, watch it go Watch it go The music itself creates a, a good spirit, uh, and, and people seem to latch on to that. And uh, I've had more than one person tell me that they came into a, a show with, you know, I had a really bad day, and uh, they left the show in a really good mood. And having that kind of a power to bring people up to a certain level is, is a real important thing for us, I think. I think I speak for all of us when I say that. Mm. And it's, it's just a real healing thing, especially for a generation in a society like ours right now. It's anything that can can be helpful at all like that and, and bring people to a higher level of joy or happiness. We've also had a lot of people meet each other and, and a lot of friendships start, which is it's a real nice uh, bonus. There's a second part to that that I'd like to throw into it too, and that's more for the way it makes us feel to create this music. Um, there is a real experimental feel in a lot of the things we do. When we bring a new song to the band, you know, we all are given the freedom to sort of play with it the way we want to. And then we, when we get up on stage, especially recently, we've been willing to take a lot of, of risks and experiment with it. And that, that is a magnificent feeling. It doesn't always work. Sometimes we're all sort of looking at each other like, okay, how are we going to get out of this? But at other times, you know, we're all concentrating on our instruments. We're all concentrating on the overall feel. And it's a really meditative kind of experience.
head when I'm climbing And the mountain seems to end I take a look around And there's another hill to climb on You think you're going down You're laugh diving towards the ground There's a pocket full of air And you can rest there Crazy sign of dawn when you dream you get a darkness, something seems to turn on. It's a crazy sign of dawn when you dream you get a darkness, something seems to turn on. band full of you know these amazing musicians that's that's really not what we're about we have definitely a few people in the band who've been around the block <laughs> cr groover steve kaufman so what are you trying to say but we also have we also have a bunch of people who um just really really have loved music for a long time and were listeners for a long time and thought that it'd be great to do this and it's only through the communication that happens on stage that we're able to become excellent musicians and i think there's times when we connect that we become these musicians, it's 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 pretty amazing. I mean, I, I definitely have a long way to go playing guitar, but if I can just steal a couple of riffs off of CR and Ed, all of a sudden I'm like, wow, this is pretty hot. <laughs> so it definitely happens on stage, you know, that we make each other sound good, and that's fun. In, in the same way, there's, um, it comes from a, a caring about each other, and we were strangers to start out with, but we've become very close friends <laughs> and when you care about someone you respect them you respect what they're about you respect their music so when you're working together on stage you you know it's not like okay man this is my chance to shine it's this is my chance to work with that little riff steve's doing or that little um, drum lick that, that brad is doing and, and what can i do that's going to make that grow it's out of i think a, a mutual respect for each other as musicians as people mm -hmm.
it's kind of important to us um, identifying with the area from which we came in Philadelphia and more specifically uh, western suburbs. I guess Westchester is sort of the hub of uh, pandadom these days. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> it's it's kind of a tough city to affiliate with. I mean, right now, Philadelphia is not thought of as a mecca for new music. And uh, <clears throat> I'd say one reason for that is Philadelphia is notoriously a tough city. It's a, it's a hard city to live in. It's The people here are tough. You go to see a show and you look at the audience reaction, unless it's a national act, people are pretty much staring at them saying, okay, knock me dead, impress me, what do you have? And, you know, we're kind of, We've grown on that, and I think fed on that, and um, you know we tried to knock people dead and show them what we have, and I think that's actually made us stronger as a band. Before I joined this band, I was very much a, a solitary person. I would get up by myself and play, and when we first started jamming together, it was a frightening experience for me because, you know, here I was, you know, being asked to just throw something raw out and join into this groove that they were creating. It was very frightening because I wasn't quite willing to become part of this group yet. I was you know, very self-sufficient and all that. But I think as, as I grow with this group, I realize that in order to succeed in life, you must realize that we are all in it together, not, not just us as a group of seven people, eight people, including our sound man. Rich, Rich Martin. Rich Martin. <laughs> um, but uh, that in order, you know, us and and the audience, us and the world at large, anybody that might hear the music, that in order to do anything in this world, you must realize that we're, we are all connected to each other. Slogans, get your feet back on the ground Bring it down the line Take the good and show the people how to shine yeah. This world is getting smaller, smaller all the time To so do what's right and help your neighbor Bring it down the line Oh, green and blue is tired and she's fighting no more She doesn't understand why those who love her Still choose to ignore her Don't take the reins to put a stop To those who just abuse her we'll Green and blue be raped We will we free her and defend her Bring it down the line Take the good and show the people how to shine This world is getting smaller, smaller all the time so Do what's right and help your neighbor Bring it down the line And their greed and hate To those who fear what they don't understand I just cannot relate Different cultures, different rhythms Different minds and different states Different people, different customs Different smiles on every face Bring it down the line Take the good and show the people how to shine This world is getting smaller, smaller all the time so Do what's right and help your neighbor Bring it down the line
below my feet. Yeah. Now everything I see is green. Yeah. Bitches turn their tie on me. The audience reception we've gotten from from our area, especially, has just gotten better and better. Uh, it's, it seems like at first people are a little shy to, to react to it. It's original music, and you know it may may take them aback a little bit. But after the first couple times they see us, and by the third or fourth time, they're usually up there with the other people dancing and stuff. Knowing our songs. Knowing our songs. Uh, one of the things that really helps with the audience, at least, is they start meeting each other, getting together. We've formed a lot of friendships and stuff, as I said before. And uh, so you soon have this huge core of, of pretty pretty loyal followers. Uh, that are all friends with each other and, you know, dig the music and tell other friends about it. Uh, critics, the one, one review we've gotten was pretty much laced with Grateful Dead innuations through the whole thing, which, you know, we'll get that. Uh, I think the overall response to our music, which is majoritatively, majoritatively original music, was, has been pretty good for the most part. Won't you stay? And I think as time 
lends itself to it, we're going to do a lot more of it. Mm -hmm. Basically, we all have lives separate from the band. The band is is of prime importance to all of us, but because of all these other obligations, you know, we get together a couple of times a week to practice. We play on the weekends, and that's really about all the time we can spend together. You know, I've given Jeannie some stuff to work with. Uh, Steve and I have written a couple of songs together, um, and I think all of these relationships are going to be more fruitful in the future. It's just frankly a matter of time up to this point because we all want to do it but that's only really just getting the song in a very very raw form really there's not a song that has made it anywhere um, from us that hasn't become a band arrangement song mm -hmm. very and true. without the band arrangement and the band arrangement is it it's all encompassing everyone in the band has got a significant piece where the song just doesn't go and so really it's it is a real it's you know everyone's really writing all the songs because the arrangements is what makes them work. It's hard to believe we were welcome once the forest and hills they would share rivers and trees after all they would last there's plenty they would always be there. Arrived on ships from the east, waves rolling in from the sun. Talking a piece, wearing a cross, with horses and gifts in the gun. But if they knew then what they know now, wouldn't blame them if they changed their minds. Send us back home on our wooden ships for the first After all, they would last, and the white man would take just a few. Oh. Getting it seen that something was wrong, the movement was large and was fast. Ooh. Civilists came, and they came, and they came, and as they did, they tore at the dust. But if they knew then what they know now, Blame them if they change their minds. Send us back home on our wooden ships for the first time. So 
jungle people, how do you stand now? With the bottle, the famine, the loss. Nowhere to go, all directions are back.
that a band can can proceed. Um, we really want to concentrate on building a live audience. That seems to be, you know, we all love to play. I mean, it, obviously, it'd be nice to be able to make enough money to leave our jobs behind. It'd be very nice to make a lot of money so that we could give it away. Uh, it'd be really nice to make so much money that after we give it away, we get to keep some of it, too. Um, but we really want to concentrate on on doing what we've done locally, but expanding it out. Um, you know, our, our crowds have been, crowds might be in, uh, too large a word, but our, our audiences have been steadily increasing uh, for all the reasons that we talked about earlier. And I think that we'd like to see that continue. Obviously, something that we're doing is, is promoting a spark among people. Uh, some of the things CR was talking about earlier about um, friendships developing, the experience that we have on stage of that sort of spiritual sense that takes over during the more experimental stuff uh, is something that, that I really want to continue and make my life, and I think all of us feel the same way too. It'd be great to get a record contract, no one would you know, dispute that, but we're not going to sacrifice what we love to do for some illusion and what we really love to do is play music and create and I think that that's the long-term goal is to keep it vibrant to keep ourselves constantly challenging other people in the band and if we do that everything else will follow naturally Thank you. 